Afternoon viewers, welcome to video 8 in this camper van build. Um, my last video, video 7, uh, I said I were hoping to get furloughed for a week, but uh, that didn't happen. Uh, because we're getting towards end of month and end of financial year, uh, for most companies uh, we've been quite busy at work, uh, which has been the first time since Christmas. So uh, I've had to work, which means uh, I didn't get as much done on van as I wanted to. Uh, but I just thought I'd mention that uh, I was umming and ahhing as to whether to fit a solar panel on top of van. Uh, because this is like an adventure style uh, van um, and I put a big roof rack on, uh, whoever bites van I don't know if they were going to be like outdoor pursuity type people who would be putting kayaks up there and uh, surfboards and god knows what else. But I put wiring in for a solar panel anyway and I put a solar control charger in an MPPT controller in so uh, I'd got some in stock uh, I got a couple of uh, Canadian solar panels in stock and uh, I was sick of falling over them so I thought I'd put at least one of them on I was hoping to fit two on but uh, roof rack weren't big enough because uh, Canadian panels what I've got are actually quite big. The 255 watt, uh, these are them, they're, uh, they're absolutely massive solar panels if uh, if you can see it set inside of me. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know if you can uh, if you can make that out. The uh, 255 watt operating open circuit 37.4 volts well other day went somewhere I, I were actually getting 38 volts uh, through into uh, solar controller but uh, yeah so like I say uh, I decided to fit one I got them in stock so I thought sorry I'll put them up uh, it didn't leave much roof right left but uh, Watching quite a few videos on uh, on YouTube of people, uh, people seem to be spending a lot of time on the roofs on these uh, on these outdoor style camper vans. So they've been fitting decking on top of roof uh, to to get up there and spend some time up there. I don't know. I don't know what the story is, but uh, I had a look amongst me uh, me leftover pile from some other builds what I do, and I found some. Uh, some aluminium checker plate so uh, rather than put some wooden decking or some composite which is just wood uh, plastic decking uh, I've used a piece of uh, aluminium checker plate up there uh, we'll go out and have a look and I'll show you how far I've got uh, I ain't gone out now because it's uh, it's windy as hell it's, <coughs> it's blowing a gale Tilsley out there so uh, I'll go and show you around van uh, I've made my top cupboard for uh, for my unit and uh, we'll go out and have a look and uh, it's easier to ex uh, to show you rather than explain because uh, I'm not very good at putting uh, putting words to stuff so we'll go and have a quick butchers round That's that door I were, uh, I were on about in video 7. Uh, this is just to put... Oh, I hate these bloody buttons. That's where, uh, that's where the toilet's going to go. Exactly the same as me, uh, my last traffic where I did. And then at night the toilet will sit down there for emergencies. And then uh, tuck away nicely. Bite the air out of the way. So that's that. Um, that's that top cupboard. I'm undecided as to what to do with that. Whether to put shelves in it or leave it as it is, because if I leave it like that, it's absolutely ideal for putting sleeping bags in. Because, as you all know, sleeping bags 
they do not fold up small. Not as small as packaging what they come out on, they like tents. Uh, got my fridge in, same fridge as I always fit, little three way fridge, but I only fit two ways, I only fit them on 12 volt and electrics. They're absorption fridges, fridges, so they're quite power thirsty really, so you do need a solar panel to keep these buggers topped up, because uh, if you don't they'll soon drain your, drain your battery on 12 volt. They're brilliant on 240, don't get me wrong, but uh, uh, sinks in, it's, uh, it's not fastened in yet. It's me all cut out, me all up back where the tap's going to go. But uh, that's me sinking. Little cooker's in. Uh, same cookers as what I normally fit in these, but. Uh, they're ideal for, for smaller campers. I normally take lids off but I've not got round to it on these. Uh, I would leave lid on but they're so flimsy lids if you put any weight on. I mean this one's dinted already and that would just, that would just, if you see how it, it's, it's bogged down, they're, they're just dead flimsy. It's bent down already because uh, it got damaged in transit that so uh, what else have we got oh, we've put a bit of put a, a switch in there for lights uh, I normally put them dimmable switches in uh, I've ordered one but uh, it's not arrived yet so I've just put that in for now uh, little switch for, for lights um, should go torch somewhere we've got some power going on now with uh, I've, uh, I've put my uh, uh, MCB miniature circuit breaker box in for when I'm on mains. Uh, I don't know if you can just see behind there, that solar controller for my solar panel which is cooking on gas nicely. Split chargers in, uh, batteries in. None of this is permanent. I know it looks like an electrician's nightmare at the moment. It's uh, it's like spaghetti, but uh, this uh, this will all be tidied up when uh, when it, when it's fitted in properly. Battery's going to go further up. Uh, there's going to be a partition off, and that door at bikes where you're going to have entrance to all your electrical gubbins. This will be partitioned off from from rest on it. And uh, yeah, so. We'll, uh, we'll take a stroll up on top now and, uh, and have a look at solar panel, but uh, like I say, it's going to be as windy as hell out here, so I doubt you'll see much. Uh, sorry, I doubt you'll hear much. You'll see stuff, all right. So this is that... Uh, it's 3mm aluminium checker plate. Uh, I had it left off from another job. So, uh, solar panel. So, like I say, people are spending a lot of time on the tops of the vans. So, uh, I thought I'd stick this down and. Uh, if anybody wants to fit a roof box, there's a bit of space there. If there's any maintenance needs to be done on, uh, on light bar, light bars, light bars there. And like I say, we've got 255 watts of solar there. So, uh, yeah. Nick back in carriage because it's, uh, it's uh, blowing an absolute gale today.
Right, back in shelter. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, a day for video 8. Uh, we're not far off, uh, off being finished now. Uh, I was hoping to have it finished for Easter. Uh, what day are we on? Yesterday I sent me uh, I sent me upholstery off to upholstery to be done but he's really busy and uh, he says he'll not be able to to get it back for uh, for a couple of weeks so that'll take me really right up to up to Easter uh, waiting another two weeks but uh, van's not quite finished yet there's then few few little jobs to do uh, but it will be finished in the next two weeks so pr I'll probably get another couple of videos out like I said this is video 8 video 9 will probably finish everything off then video 10 will be when upholstery comes back and uh, I do a walk round at van so another two weeks it should be done so uh, yeah thanks again for all your kind comments uh, thanks to all my subscribers new and old if you could give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down that'd be sound much appreciated and uh, yeah uh, easing at lockdown starting to happen so at the time this van's done we might actually get a chance to use them I can't wait to get my hair cut it's getting on my week to be honest with you not bothered about having a drink I just want to get my polar bear cut so uh, that's it then I'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching take care stay safe see you in video 9